Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Okay. I have third. How do you say? I have. I have a third. Throw hake. Throw a. Throw hake. En garganta suele decirse sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. ¿Cómo? Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah. Ok. Sore throat. Para estar en la garganta. ¿En you? Sore throat. No, I'm fine. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, God. <laughs> Finally, it's Friday. But you work on Saturday? Do you work on Saturday, girls? Saira, yeah, I know that Saira yeah. works on Saturdays, yeah? In my case, Saturday. in the morning. Wendy in the morning. Uh -huh. And Lillian, you work mm -hmm. on Saturdays? In the morning. Oh? In the morning. The, in the morning. The seven, uh, <laughs> 7 to 12. Seven to 12. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I work on Saturday, but in the afternoon. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Because I have to go maybe just it's more or something. Then I have to come back early to, to be here at one because I work from one to five on Saturdays. Well, that's it anyways. Hey, Frida, what are you, what are you drinking? She's not listening right now. No. Hello, Frida. Hello, evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Sorry. How are you? Fine, very fine. I was asking you that if you if you work on Saturday, I was asking everyone here. Do you work on Saturdays? No, I don't work. On oh, that's great. <laughs> We all have to work on Saturday. Hey. Uh, sometimes I work in other places. Oh, really? Yes, in Saturday or Sunday. Um, attending patients? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, good. Very good. Is your husband with you? Yes, he's here. Hey, hello, hello buddy. How are you? Fine. How's the family? <laughs> Very well. Yeah, growing. Yeah, yeah I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grandpa. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Yeah, that, I'm very happy for that. It's identical. It's, it's like a mini me. <laughs> yeah, you know, genes are powerful. I'm so happy for you. I, I I don't know if your daughter remembers me. Yeah, I think yes. Yes, they remember you. Yeah. Oh, say hi for me. Okay, I tell them. Good to see Bye. you, Robert. Bye. Yeah. 
Uh, someday I'm going to tell you stories about Roberto and church when he was a child. <laughs> I met Frida's was, husband when he was, was a angel. child. Uh, yeah, he was a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he was a good boy. But he's an excellent musician. Yeah, but when I met him, so he just played the, the flute. Okay, people, welcome. Finally, it's Friday. So you're not going to bed late on Saturday. At least not for having a class. Maybe for other reasons, you go to bed late on Saturdays, but not for your English class. Okay, very good. Where is my list? Let me get it from the back of my laptop. Okay. Well, let's get it started tonight. Tonight, um, personal session is for Javier. Okay, Javier? Yes, sir. Sure. So you will have the 10 minute personal session at the end of the class today. Okay. So prepare your questions because if you don't have questions, I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. And let's see. Okay, Anna Lillian Reyes. Present teacher. Hello, Anna Lillian. Welcome. Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Hello, Brian. Welcome one more time. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Hey, where's Dinora? She's going to be late today. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, hello, Frida. Um, Guillermo Antonio Garcia is not here today. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Hey, welcome, Javier. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. It's not here, Arnoldo, today. Um, Jose Galileo Barrera. Here, Jose Jonathan Vigil. Hey, what's going on on Fridays? Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. All the Jose's. Uh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Welcome, Catherine. Um, Laura Carolina Vigil. Laura is not here either. Wow. Maria Concepcion Cerón. Not yet. Maria Ivania Palma. Hello, Mary. Present teacher. Are you, are you on the bus? Hello, teacher. Yeah. Okay, be careful with the cell phone. <laughs> All right, yes. Okay. All right, yeah. my house. Okay, good. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Hey, it's Mauricio. Friday and, and the body knows it. The body knows it. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mayra Veralice Moreno. Not here, Mayra. Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher. Hello, Zaira. Welcome. Uh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. Hello. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Hello, Karen. Hello. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Okay, Mauricio, welcome. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, people. Tonight, yeah, hey, Jonathan. Yeah, you're here, but you're late. Yes, uh, a few uh, minutes. A few minutes. Problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. What am I going to do? Okay, let's start one more time to practice to warm up with the uh, to have a, a quick review of the different forms of simple past. Okay, let me go here. Okay, let's have a quick review on this because tonight you will be working on a couple of exercises using the simple past. Okay, so you better use it well. The past simple or simple past tense. We have two forms, one with the verb be, just with the verb be see and with other verbs okay with the verb be the affirmative sentences affirmative sentences or positive okay positive or affirmative is the same remember they were friends what is the structure subject and was or were right they were friends i was a teenager in 19 how much 1980 okay uh she was my teacher in high school yeah affirmative sentences with v then we have negative sentences with B. And we use was not or were not. Okay. Subject, then was not or were not. They weren't friends. We weren't uh, classmates. You uh, weren't. Uh, my students two years ago, for example. Okay, negative, wasn't or weren't. Then the just no questions. Um, oh, this is wrong. Let me write something different here. For example, uh, forget about this. I didn't realize that it was wrong. The yes no question should be were they friends? Were they friends? Yeah. For example, 
And then we also study uh, information questions. For example, where uh, was your uh, Where was your house? No. Where was your house? Or who was your oops? Who was your first um, boss? Yeah, these are information. Oopsie, that color is not good. Who was your first boss? Sorry, red is not working. And then we studied the past simple with other verbs. Okay, remember the affirmative or positive sentences we are going to use the verb in past, like this. She worked yesterday. So it's the only time, the only case, when you are going to use the verb in past form, in positive or affirmative sentences. Negative sentences, you are going to use didn't or did not. Okay, subject did not plus verb in the base form. Yeah, verb in the base form. She didn't work yesterday. See the verb is in the base form. Yes, no questions. Did plus subject plus verb in base form again. Did she work yesterday? Okay. And uh, some information questions. <laughs> Let me use this yellow. For example, where did she work yesterday? Where did she work yesterday? Um, uh, when did you, uh, did you, uh, graduate, for example, when did you graduate, what did you eat for lunch? So these are information questions. What do you eat for lunch? Hmm. These are information questions, okay? Solo para refrescarles lo que hemos visto en esta semana. Alguna pregunta que quieran reforzar de esto, alguna duda que quieran reforzar de esto que hemos visto durante la semana, el pasado con el verbo to be y el pasado con otros verbos. Bien, les recuerdo que no vamos a mezclar el did con was, ¿verdad? En, en, en una pregunta, al menos en el, en el inicio de la pregunta, ¿verdad? No, no vamos a mezclar el did con el verbo to be. Como auxiliar no se mezclan. No, no se mezclan, no se mezclan. Ok. Bueno, vamos a decir, did you was? No. O did you be? No. Ok. Bien, no hay preguntas. Está clarito. Vale. 
Excellent. No recuerdo si les compartí esta imagen. Probablemente no. No. Se las voy a dejar ahí en el WhatsApp como referencia. Tan solo que, uh, bueno. Sorry, quité los, los information, pero recuerdan ya les dije que las information questions son básicamente yes no questions a las que les agregamos al inicio las question words. What, where, when, who, etc. ¿Verdad? Es una yes no question que al principio le agregamos una question word. Ok, entonces, al no haber preguntas, vamos a hacer un ejercicio por acá. No, esto ya lo hicimos. Esto ya lo hicimos. Ok. Este cuadrito... Okay. I'm going to share this chart in WhatsApp. I'll get also un cuadrito ahí en WhatsApp para que lo vamos a trabajar. Ya les explico lo que vamos a hacer. Hi teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Teacher, sorry for don't turn the camera, but I don't feel good tonight. I'm oh. so tired and I have pain in my eyes. Okay. Maybe just for the attendance you can do it, please. Okay? That's, that would be I'm fine. here. I'm here. Okay. okay. Uh, so, we are going to work in this chart. So, first, you're going to work individually. I have some questions for you, okay? Questions with B. If you know this, si se dan cuenta, ¿verdad? Una sección son preguntas con B. Esta parte. ¿eh? Son questions with B. Yeah? What was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? Who was your favorite teacher in high school? When was your first kiss? Ah, interesting question. Where were you on Saturday night? Okay. You are going to respond about you. And the other set of questions is with did. Look. This section is with did. What time did you get up this morning? Tenemos un verbo aparte. Si ustedes se fijan en las preguntas con was o where, no tenemos otro verbo. No tenemos otro verbo principal. Solo es to be. ¿Verdad? En cambio, en las preguntas con did, tenemos un verbo principal. Where did you live 10 years ago? When did you start working at, in your current job? How did you meet your spouse or best friend? Yeah, four questions, okay? So first thing I want you to take time to respond these questions with real information about you. After that, I'm going to send you to work in pairs and you are going to ask your classmate the questions and you are going to write your classmates questions here, your answers. La respuesta de sus compañeros la van a escribir acá. ¿Verdad? O sea, primero responden sobre ustedes 
y luego sobre sus el compañero con el que van a, al que van a entrevistar. Y quiero en las respuestas oraciones completas. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? No quiero que solo me pongan, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, Heidi. No. Una oración completa, que en este caso sería My favorite cartoon When I was a child Was Heidi Johnny Bravo oh, Ah, Johnny Bravo Ok The Flintstones <laughs> Bueno, ahí cada, cada quien, ¿verdad? Los Teletubbies Ya, oraciones completas y cuando le pregunten a, a alguien, le entrevisten a alguien, van a poner, por ejemplo, ya dijo por ahí, eh, ¿quién dijo Johnny Bravo? Arnoldo. Arnoldo. Hello. Yo, teacher. ¿Quién es yo? No lo estoy viendo ahorita. Who Brian. is yo? Brian, ok. Entonces sería una, si yo le digo a, a Brian, Brian, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? Y Brian me dice, ¿verdad? Ah, my favorite cartoon when I was a child was eh, Johnny Bravo. Entonces yo voy a poner Brian's, Brian's favorite cartoon when he was a child y por qué se llama was a child was Johnny Bravo ya yeah. and Teletubbies and Teletubbies otra <laughs> es <laughs> ya yeah. oraciones así respuestas completas ¿De acuerdo? Entonces les doy que 5 o 10 minutos individualmente aquí sin enviarlos a los grupos para que cada uno primero prepare su respuesta, su propia respuesta. Y luego los enviaré en pareja para que obtengan la respuesta de su partner. ¿Ok? Por aquí voy a estar. Cualquier pregunta, cualquier duda. Me la pueden hacer. Y Cherry puede dejar el, la imagen de las questions. Sí, bueno, Solo lo que yo escribí ya se borró. Ok. Vaya. Michelle. Hola. Eh, Michelle, no sé si me puede dar 15 minutos. Es que, me, bueno, a mi madre le pasó un percance, entonces tengo que ir a traerla. Vaya, pues dale. Gracias. No te salga, no sé si puedes dejarla. Está en el teléfono. Me voy a pasar el teléfono ahorita. Ah, bueno, porque de, si no, que dejes ahí la sesión. Ok. ¿Qué me dijo? ¿Se las mandé al WhatsApp esta? ¿Se las mandé o no? Sí, ¿verdad? El ejercicio. Sí, teacher, ya las tengo, gracias. Vaya, sí. Vaya. aquí en el chat los ejemplos de respuesta ok 
was. <laughs> when I was a child, solo habían dos cartoons. <laughs> no, estaban solo Popeye. Popeye. Y los Warner Brothers, los Looney Tunes. <laughs> Eso era todo, para de contar. En blanco y negro. Teacher, usted si le pregunta a los jóvenes hoy en día, los clonitos son los reggaetoneros, le dicen a uno. <risa> pero le voy a poner otro que está, ya estaba más grandecito, pero me gustaba. My favorite cartoon when I was a child was, charam, this one. Y vamos a poner como... Mauricio, pero si usted le gusta todavía los reggaetoneros, solo discuten de reggaeton, paso. My favorite cartoon when I was a child was Johnny Bravo. Bye. Something like that. Uh -huh. Cuando vayan terminando, ponen la manita a virtual para ver que ya indicarme que ya terminaron. Thank <laughs> you. 
teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, the second question. Who who was your favorite teacher in high? High school. Uh, what? Uh, high school. No sé si está mal escrito, si se escribe high school. H I A H I G H. Ya. Mucha. Ya la dislexia a veces. Ya, yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's fine. Teacher. Yes. And la pregunta, where did you live in 10 years ago? Está bien si respondo, I was living near to my actually house. I was lived. Ah, sería lives, ¿verdad? Pero así estaría bien. No. ¿Y por qué no? No. You have the verb live, you don't need was. No le pongo el was entonces. No. Entonces le pongo I live near to my actually house. I, yeah. Okay. Actually, actually no significa en español lo mismo en inglés que en yeah, español. Cierto, 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 cierto. Ya recordé eso, siempre me confundo ah. con esa palabra. Pero ok, ya la cambio. Gracias. Ok. Actually, what? What is explication? Actually. Yes. For example, imagine you you tell me, hey teacher, uh, let's go to the movies. And I say to you, mm, I would like to. But actually, I'm busy. Um, it's, it's como un pero, ¿verdad? Cierto, es, es actually. De hecho, no. No actualmente. No, es como decir, pero en realidad estoy muy ocupado. O sea, sí me gusta, pero realmente estoy ocupado. No quiero ir. Por no decirte no de un solo, te doy. El actually. No me gusta. el actually. Por no decirte no así en seco, decirte no, no quiero ir. Sí me gusta, <risa> pero realmente no quiero ir ahorita. No estoy no. ocupado. Oh. Thank you. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice actualmente? Es currently. Currently. Currently? Yes. Okay.
I'll be back in a minute. I need some water. Hey, I'm back. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, what time did you get you get up this morning? Uh, is correct this morning I got at 4 45 a.m. o'clock or tengo que usar ID. Is affirmative? Yes. Do we use did in affirmative sentences? Usamos did in affirmative sentences? No, no. no, never. I was in the morning or while I was this morning. No. No. I see it's correct. Yes. Thank you. Good up. Are you sure? Yes. The verb irregular. The get up is get up. The pass of get up. Yes. 
got up. Go. Got, got up. Go. G O T. Okay. okay, thanks. Got up. Teacher, I'm the last What is the last question? Uh, how did you meet your spouse or best uh, friend? Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of the spouse? Spouse is husband or wife. Mm. ¿Cómo a la esposa o... Oh, no sé. Yeah. ¿Cómo conoció yes. a su esposo o a su mejor amigo? Spouse or best friend. Oh, okay. Do you have a spouse? No, gracias. No. <laughs> you have best friend? Uh, yes. Okay. This how is the answer. You, how did you meet your best friend? I met my best friend when I was 11 years old. Okay, but the question is how? Ah, how? I don't remember. <laughs> Me voy a inventar algo. Ok, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ok, we have five. Five minutes, people, five minutes.
teacher uh, number uh, seven. No, no la comprendo. Seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When did you start working in your current job? So in your, so you work at Hotel Sandoria. When did you start working at Hotel Andoria? The date. No. Start. What is a start? Iniciar. Yeah, iniciar, comenzar. Okay. When did you start? start working? Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, thank okay. you. Ok, vamos a empezar a crear um, ¿De dónde venimos? Por vamos a comer ahora Okay, people, I'm going to take the second attendance, and after that, I'm going to send you to work in, in pairs, okay? So please turn on your cameras and say present or here. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Good. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Not today. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher.
Good. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Javier Aldair Escobar. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Uh, José Galileo Barrera. José Jonathan Vigil. Present teacher. José Rodrigo Hernández. Ya está ahí. Vais, bro. Ok. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Laura Carolina Vigil. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher, I'm here. Good. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Okay. Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. And Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Teacher, I'm here. Who? Uh, Who? Uh. Ah. No, I mentioned no. No, verdad. Como no, pues no estaba. No, ah. teacher, se pasó a Marivania. <laughs> Ok, entonces, bueno, vamos a formar las parejas con lo que tengan. Comiencen a trabajar. Finish. A, excelente, a entrevistar a sus parejas, ok. Vamos a crear okay. de nuevo automáticamente. Estamos 19, 9 grupos. Perfecto. Entonces, question and answer, ya, yeah? English, no Spanish, your Spanish is good, you need to practice your English, ok? I don't remember Spanish. Excellent. Thank you. 
teacher. Javier no está, ¿verdad? Ay, es cierto. Eh, Javier no ha regresado. Vamos a mandar por uh -huh. entonces. No va a mandar por otro lado. Pues sí. Bueno. No esté solita. <risa> Le puede salir no el momo. De que esto esté conmigo, no se salí. <risa> Y les traigo una pobrecita huerfanita. Andaba a ya terminamos, ya, ya vamos otra vez, ya. <risa> ok, quiero oírles hablar, preguntar, vale. responder. Ahorita ya me preguntó María la primera, lo vamos a ir anotando de una sola vez. Ok. Sí. Mm. Y este, después, igual, este... cuando... Cuando yo termine, que, responde la otra. Uh -huh. Es que lo que pueden hacer es ir así, en, como en círculo. María le pregunta a Brian, Brian a, a Concepción, Concepción a Ivania. Y, y luego así. la segunda. Ajá. Y Vaya, la vamos escribiendo de una sola vez. Claro, y van escribiendo la respuesta. Ok, teacher. Hold on, teacher. Ajá. Vaya, entonces. My, vaya, le voy a repetir la respuesta, María. Uh -huh. My favorite cartoon. When was children's. Was Johnny Bravo. Uh -huh. Sponge Bob. Sponge. Uh -huh. mm, Powers Gear. <laughs> uh, only one, only one. Uh, usted, sí. no dijo, usted dijo que le pusiéramos emoción. <laughs> Power Gear. Power. Power Gears. Así se dice, teacher. Ya, yeah, power girl. Power, chicas super poderosas. Ah, uh, girl. Vale, pero children es plural. Children. Child. 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 Ahora yo le pregunto a María entonces. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? Uh, my favorite cartoon when I was a child is uh, los de Pica Piedra, uh, Candy, and Chespirito. The for instance. Okay. Um, your favorite teacher was Mr. Turcios. She taught social. Tau social. Um, your fear kiss was in a movie cinema. Okay. <laughs> but but yeah. when when the, the question is when I 
Yeah, so, this activity is question and answer. Conversation. Um, when was your first kiss? When oh, was your first kiss? And you uh, answer my first kiss was in cinema. You were yeah. where? And the question is, is when? Oh, oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Hey. Sigan practicando. Nos vemos. Okay, teacher, see you. From fire on WhatsApp. Can you repeat it, please? I live in, in a so fire on WhatsApp. Así lo escribí, no sé cómo se dice pueblo de Ula Zapa. Um, in the town, creo yo. I live in, in Guasapa town. Ula Zapa. Guasapa. Ula Zapa. Ula Zapa. Ula Zapa. <ríe> ¿Dónde es eso? <ríe> es aquí en San Miguel, pero es... Salida a la unión. Ah, um, yo creo que es I live. I in, live. In, I uh, live. Ajá, uh -huh. siempre. I live. I, in, in a town. A uh, uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp a town. <laughs> WhatsApp. <laughs> Yo creo que así es. Teacher, así es. I lived in Uluazapa. Okay. That's it. No se complique la vida. Teacher. Vaya. Uluazapa. Uluazapa. Ok, in my case, I lived in Santa Ana, but in a different neighbor. Um, I live in Ibu. I live in Ibu. Okay. And the next. Um. Where did you live 10 years ago? I lived in Colonia Utila. Colonia? Utila. Okay. Where did you live 10 years ago? I lived in this house 10 years ago. This is my house before 15 years ago. In this house? Mm -hmm. In my house. Uh, when did you start working in your current?
Wow. Pursue's favorite cartoon. Okay. And other question is What time did you get up this morning? I got up at 5 a.m. this morning. What? Teacher, it's, it's currently the it's correct this answer. Teacher? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, for the, the question, what time did you get up this morning? Is correct uh, the answer, I got up at 5 a.m. this morning? Yes. Okay. Yes, perfect. And 5 a.m. say. Up? Yeah. What time did you get up this morning? I go up at 6 38. Hi, teacher. Hi. Este. Mira, la verdad es que no estoy segura de lo que he hecho. No estoy segura de nada de lo que he hecho, así que se las voy a leer todas. Did you practice? Okay, I want to see you practicing. Okay. Okay. The first question is, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? My favorite cartoon when I was a child? I want to see you, I want to see you in action. So you ask Mauricio and Mauricio ask you. Ah, okay. Mauricio. Are you here? Hello. Okay. What was your your favorite cartoon when you were a child? My favorite cartoon when I was a child was Pato Aventuras. Okay, now you, Mauricio. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? My favorite cartoon when I was a child was the Power of Girls. Okay. Pero yo como lo pondría, lo pondría como Mauricio's favorite cartoon when he was a child was Pato Aventuras. Yeah. Okay, no, espérese que se nos cuenta. Se nos puso ese ejemplo. <laughs> y nos ha pasado por otra. Okay, vamos al canto siguiente. Who was your favorite teacher in high school? My favorite teacher in high school was Manuel Molina. Oh. Who was your favorite teacher in high school? My favorite teacher when I was in high school was... Ay, es que yo eso le hice larga, pero se lo voy a leer todo, así me hizo toda esta buena. Yeah. My favorite teacher when I was in high school was my teacher to technical subjects. Her name is Guillermo. Okay, yeah, it's good, only is a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay. Ah, sería his name. Okay, correct. Okay. Y la respuesta de Mauricio la escribiría como Mauricio's favorite teacher when he went to high school is Manuel Molina. Yeah, we can use that when he went to, uh, to high school or when he was in high school. Yeah. Uh, lo ideal sería when he was. Yeah, when he was okay. in high school. Okay. 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 See you. Okay.
Hi, teacher. Hi, Javier. Okay. Yes. People is working in groups, so... Just wait a moment. I'm going to bring them back. Espera un momento. Okay. Okay, people, welcome back. Vamos a practicar aquí un ratito, ¿verdad? Okay, yo voy a lanzar una pregunta y uno de ustedes tiene la respuesta. ¿verdad? Porque uno de ustedes habló con esa persona de la que yo voy a preguntar. Entonces, esa persona es la que tiene que responder. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, uh, What was eh, Let me go here. What was uh, Guillermo's favorite cartoon when he was a child? Um, me teacher, Jonathan, Guillermo say my favorite cartoon were the Flintstone, Transformers, Messenger Zeta, Messenger Zeta, etc. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, good. Now, what, who was uh, Wendy's favorite teacher in high school? Hello? Wait, wait, wait. Um... Wendy's favorite teacher when she was in high school was Mrs. Aida de Polillo. Okay, excellent. Muy bien hecha la oración. Bien. Uh, when was... A ver, ¿a quién sometemos a esta pregunta? When wow Maurice when was Mauricio Rivera's first kiss? When was Mauricio's first kiss? Mauricio Rivera. I don't remember. I don't know, I don't remember. No. There were many girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Pero, ¿qué, ¿Qué pasó? No, Mr. Juan. No. There, there, many words. Many words. No, le, <laughs> ¿No te hicieron esa pregunta? Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, Zaira, you must have that, uh, that answer. When was Mauricio's first kiss? My first kiss 
No, I, I'm you not asking feed, you. You feed kids was you My was. first kids, Saira? No, it's he, not my. Your? No, Mauricio's. Mauricio's first kiss. Mauricio. Uh -huh. Was your wife? My wife? No, the Mauricio. <laughs> His wife. His, ah, okay. Uh, problems <laughs> nah i don't believe that Maurice, the, i don't believe true. That. My, my true my true kiss my my first true no, kiss no i didn't say true i said first <laughs> my first intelligent man <laughs> No, intelligent, no. Uh, afraid. Hey, me, voy a, me quedo sin compañeros. Mañana si no llega es culpa de ustedes. <laughs> no, intelligent. Afraid. Con miedo. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, what time did, let me see. What time did Jacqueline, Jacqueline get up this morning? Jacqueline got up at six o'clock this morning, teacher. Okay, thank you, Arnold. Where did uh, Karen live 10 years ago? Karen lived near your currently house 10 years ago. My currently house? He, his. Here, 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 Okay, here. Good, thank you. Now, let's see. When did uh, Rodrigo start working in his current job? Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo, yes. Okay. Uh, Jose started working at his current job in 2010. Ah, okay, perfect, very good. One more, one more round. Um, what was uh, Ivania's favorite cartoon when she was a child? A ver, hay dos que deben responder. What was Ivania's favorite cartoon when she was a child? Ivania's favorite cartoon? Uh, was a handy um, to spirit. Ah, okay, good, thank you. Um, Hey, who was your partner, Jonathan? Guillermo. Guillermo, pero ya se nos desapareció otra vez. Okay. Um, the next question. Who was Ana Lilian's favorite teacher in high school? Um, Ana Lilian. The, her favorite teacher was Nelson. Nelson. Nelson, yeah. He was her teacher of sciences. Science. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, Science. okay. <laughs> was there chemistry there? Yeah. Exit. <laughs> Ana Lilian. Uh -huh. Okay, next question is. Uh, okay.
okay? Let's see, let's see. When was Arnoldo's first kiss? Dale uh, volumen, Arnoldo. <laughs> Arnoldo, his first kiss was uh, 14 years ago. Ah, 14 years ago. Okay. Uh, the current wife. The first wife. The first wife. The first wife. The first wife. <laughs> the first wife. <laughs> no llegamos mañana a trabajar. <laughs> Intelligent. Man. I don't hear you, Arnoldo. <laughs> I say I say that my first kiss is when I was 10 years old, no years 14 years ago. Ah, ajá, ¿qué pasó ahí, Jacqueline? But <laughs> I don't, I don't have problem this moment when my <laughs> my wife is work in this moment. Ah, so okay. Is in my house. Ah, freedom. She she freedom. 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 <laughs> freedom. No only problem. Listen, only listen, my daughter. <laughs> I know he's a free Emma. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's see. Let's continue now with where uh, where was Rocio on Saturday night? Where was Rocio on Saturday night? Rocio was in her home on Saturday night. Ah, good girl, good girl, Rocio. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, uh, where did uh, Saira live 10 years ago? Where did Saira live 10 years ago? Ay Dios, ya le dieron a Mauricio que se quedó quieto, callado. Mauricio, you have to respond that. Mauricio Rivera. Excuse me. You have to respond that. You work with Saira. Ah, uh, uh... Excuse me, I don't listen la pregunta, es que me cayó un mensaje, teacher, no me dejó oír bien la pregunta. Ok, I sí. like that, that Spanglish, I don't listen la pregunta. <laughs> Where did Zaira live 10 years ago? Uh, she, she, wa, uh, she did, she did in the San Salvador, she, she, she did. No, she did, did no. She was live. No, ten... no. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But so she lived. She lived ten ago in San Salvador. Okay, she lived in San Salvador ten years ago. Um, when, let's see, when did Mauricio start working in his current job? Mauricio started in his current job at 2013. In 2013, in 2013. In 2013. Perfect, very good. Thank you. Uh, Okay. How did Frida meet her spouse? Is Rodrigo here? Yeah. Okay, Rodrigo. How did Frida meet her spouse, her husband? Frida. 
meet her husband when his best friend from the childhood into him to me. Okay, but Frida meet or Frida met? Met. met. Yes, met. remember that affirmative sentences, the verb must be in past. Okay, very good people. Practice this, please. Todavía siento que les cuesta. Practice, practice, please. Okay, I'm going to give you another exercise, but it's going to be this. First, let me show you this. Vamos a ver, no sé si lo terminen hoy, pero si no tienen el, el weekend para hacerlo. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I'm going, I look at this paragraph. This paragraph is about me and my trip to Canada. Okay. Let me take the marker here. Okay. In July, 2014, my wife and I went to Canada to a conference. Change the color here. It was our first time on a plane. We were really nervous, but excited at the same time. Because we didn't have a USA visa, we took a direct flight to Toronto. And there we took another flight to Calgary, where the conference took place. The flight from El Salvador to Toronto was fine, but the flight from Toronto to Calgary was very scary because there was a lot of turbulence. After the conference, we went to the city of Edmonton and the next day we went to the mountains with a friend. We visited two beautiful little towns, Canmore, and Banff. We saw moose, goats, and buffaloes. I also ate a buffalo hamburger. To tell you the truth, I didn't feel any difference with beef meat. The next day, we traveled eight hours to another city called Swift Current. There we went to a wind turbines park and took pictures standing on one of them. We did many other things, but I don't have time to tell you more. Okay, so this is a real short story about a trip we uh, made to Canada in 2014. I told you we went to the mountains, we went to a wind turbine uh, park, uh, we went to this little town. Well, this is a big hotel, but it's a touristic town. And I ate hamburger, a buffalo hamburger. Okay. We, have, we can do many things here, but the, the thing I want you to do is to think about an interesting experience you had in the past. Could be a trip, a vacation, a celebration, or, or whatever you want. Lo que ustedes quieran. Pero que me escriban un párrafo como este. ¿Ya? En pasado, por supuesto. Los que están en computadora pueden hacerme una, una presentación así, ¿verdad? Lo hemos dejado en, en una sola diapositiva. Si tienen fotos, poner algunas fotos. Eh, a leerlo, ¿verdad? Debe de llevarse no menos de un minuto. No 
Entonces no va a ser un texto de tres líneas, sino un texto así, donde ustedes nos cuenten varias cosas. Of course, todo en pasado, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser en pasado. Eh, y luego, como les digo, quizás no tengamos tiempo ahora. Bueno, vamos a ver, tenemos todavía varios minutos. Uh, porque incluso tenemos que eh, llegar un poquito más de las 10 ahora. Entonces, eh, quizá alguno tengamos tiempo de escuchar a alguno que nos cuente su historia. ¿Ya? Y para el lunes serían los demás. ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Ya Vaya pues. Ok. Uh, 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 uh. Ya. Yeah. Pero si uno no ha viajado lejos, aunque sea al río que ha ido, eso pone. No, sí, lo que sea. ¿Verdad? Okay. Claro, una, un paseo, un cualquier cosa, un viaje a las ruedas o lo que sea. De esas cosas que usted pone en Facebook. Si es que ni en Facebook pongo nada, teacher. Ahí ya. ¿Quién tiene el Facebook de Ana Lilian? Vamos a ver si es cierto. Lo comparto y lo revisan. No tengo nada. Ni fotos mías. Vaya, ok. Congratulations. Eh, se los voy a dejar ahí para nada más una, una, una guía. ¿Verdad? Como ven, para que dure un minuto, sí tiene que ser. Y un minuto así de corrido, ¿verdad? No un minuto parando ahí 15 segundos en cada frase. ¿verdad? Tiene que ser un minuto corridito. ¿Verdad? Un minuto mínimo corridito. Escriban. Ahí se los puse en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? La imagen para que les tenga de guía si quieren. Recuerden oraciones en pasado. ¿Dónde fueron? ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Qué comieron? ¿Con quién fueron? ¿Qué sé yo? Ok. I will give you 10 minutes for that. Escriban.
Yes. ¿Cómo puedo decir el viaje duró una semana? The trip lasted. Lasted. Last. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
Teacher, excuse yes. me. Uh, the word volcan, volcan, volcano. Uh -huh, volcano. Volcano. Finish. Excellent. Okay. You want to share? Quiere contar la tu historia? Okay. Uh, I have no uh, gone out for a walk with the family right to the COVID. We have spent almost two years without going for a walk to walk. But before we went to the parks, to the volcano of Santa Ana and Isalco, the lake of Coatepeque, to the lake of Huija, Atuzunga, only, only teacher. Ya, but, entonces contanos algo de uno de esos viajes. Eh, but I met, I met a Pusunga like a month ago, and it's a beautiful place. Eh, I remember. I lost a shoe in the walk in the up up of a volcan volcano of Salk of Salco. I lose a shoe. Okay. <laughs> I lose a shoe. Um, and my daughter and son smile for a smile uh, of me. <laughs> um, this uh, <laughs> this uh, remember this moment and and. Uh, I, my wife, eat many pupusas on metapan, a big, big pupusas. <laughs> um, um, only. Okay, 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 okay. Very good. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you, Chad. 
One more, alguien más. Okay. María Concepción. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Um, November Minuto. 2020, I went with my family to celebrate. Uh, my daughter six birthday at uh, when this. Uh, that day, I uh, thought that I was not on direct sensing my work did not give me permission. No sé si se dice. Permiso, dice permission? Yes. Okay. Uh, to leave Italy that day, apart from feeling happy, there was a moment when it, I feel very, very angry. Uh, but in the end, everything turned out very. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Hay un poquito de problemas para escucharte claro, pero bien. It was a party, a, a, a birthday celebration, right? Of your daughter. Okay, very good. One more. Me, teacher. Okay, Frida, tell us. Time is running. One minute. Okay. Uh, my trip to LA two years ago with my family, we went to Los Angeles. The first two days we went to Disney. We went to the Star Wars area and we go to, we go on the Millennium Falcon. Wow. My daughter was the one who enjoyed enjoy, enjoy the trip the most. After that, we went to the beaches of Santa Barbara. We also went on the Walk of Fame and my husband's credit cards was installed there. Despite that, it was a very fun trip. Wow, okay, thank you very much. Excellent, nice trip. Very good, very good. One more. Uh, me teacher. Okay, Rocio. Uh, okay, uh, my trip to Guatemala. Uh, in December uh, 2018, 2018, my husband and my two child went to Guatemala. We had a tour with different places. Uh, the first day we went to Antigua, Guatemala. And this place, uh, we stayed in a nice hostel. Uh, it's correctly, uh, no era hotel, eh? it's an hostel. Correctly pronunciation. Uh, teacher. Hello? Yes. Hostel, uh, it's the same uh, hotel, but I, I don't, I don't know if the correctly pronunciation. No. Well, I guess house could be. Okay. Call it El Antigueño. We ate in the typical food plaza and we uh, tried uh, the different foods. It was really cheap. Um, the second day after lunch, we went to Panajachel City. The Atitlan Lake is very, very impressive. A uh, beautiful place around the lake where many restaurants with different options of food and beautiful hotels with the enchanting views of the lake. Uh, my family and I really enjoyed the trip. Perfect. Okay, very good. You know, I was checking here and Hostal is a lodging house. 
I will write it on the lodging house. Yeah, I will write it in the chat here. Lodging house. Mm -hmm. Oh, Panahachel is beautiful. Oh, you know, yeah. my, my wife and I met in Panahachel. Mm. Yeah, because well, we were on we were working on the same organization and they took us to the to a, a like a seminar in Panahachel. It was beautiful and we met there. Uh, and the lake is, is but it's very cold, too. very cold. Oh yes. I love <laughs> I love it. Okay, perfect. Let me check here something. Uh, yeah, but also guest house. Así como le decía yo hace un momento, guest house también. Guest house and logging house, uh, it's equal. Yeah, but un hostel, guest house. Aquí no sonaría raro como casa de huéspedes, ¿verdad? Pero, uh -huh. Uh -huh. pero eso es, eso es un guest house. Guest house, okay, thank you. Okay, people. Um, and so that would be all for today. Please remember that all the exercises, all the homeworks for this unit must be covered tonight. Manato, las tareas de la unidad 3, sección 3, ya deben estar cubiertas esta noche. Yo me quedo por ahí a eso de la medianoche, estoy subiendo las notas. Ok. Okay, people. Uh, wow, the last attendance. Teacher. Oh, 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 oh. Teacher. Hola. Este, de la tarea número 15, mencionó que solo es de ponerla al positivo. Así es. Mm, Así es que es. ya lo hice, pero no me salió. Okay, pero eso es. Okay. Y algunos ya las hicieron y sí, eso, eso es. Oh, yeah. Remember that in past, the verb must be in past. In affirmatives, el verbo tiene que estar en pasado. Uh, ok, la última asistencia, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Ok, Ana Lilian, have a good night, nice weekend, see you on Monday, ok. Thank you. Brian Javier Carmona. Uh, Okay, good night, Brian. See you on Monday. Dinner Alejandro Alfaro didn't show up. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. See you on Monday. Uh, See you. Lo de la presentación, los demás que no lo han hecho, háganlo y el, el lunes las vemos, ¿verdad? Si pueden hacer la presentación o si no, quiero contarnos la historia. Ok, sigamos con Guillermo Antonio García. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. No more. José Galileo Barrera. Not today. José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Ok, Jonathan. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Yo Rodrigo Hernández. Good night, Rodrigo. See you on Monday. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay. Good night, Catherine. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Uh, Maria Concepcion Ceron. Present, teacher. Okay, Mary. Have a good night. Take care. Maria Ivania Palma. Good night, teacher. Present, teacher. Okay, good night, Mary. See you on Monday. Mm -hmm. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. My dad didn't show up. Saira Marlene Larín. Present. Okay, Saira. See you on Monday. 
Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you See for you attending. Monday. Have a nice weekend. Blessings. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Good night, Jacqueline. Have a nice weekend. Night. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Good night, everyone. Present. Okay, Karen. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Rocio Lourdes Pimentel. Present teacher. Have a nice weekend. Rocio and Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Okay, thank you for attending. Have a nice weekend. And I stay with Javier. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh, Javier, how are you? Um, so, so, teacher. What happened, Javier? Uh, you look fine. My week, my week um, is, is not the best. No, how much is it? Semana no ha sido la mejor. The week is not the best. Oh. Uh, is, bueno, uh, well, is is um I don't know to sure is because of the low at le, le, como si se carga laboral teacher work so the load of work the load, load uh, the of the work. work the load of the work the workload yes um well have a lot of pressure at work. Pressure, presión. Ah, yeah. Um, little pressure. Ah, okay, it's not too much, it's a little. Ah, okay, not, not too much. <laughs> uh -huh. But you are young, Javier, you are a young person. No, teacher, yeah, soy mayor. How old are you? I'm 26, oh, 26 on, years you're old. A, you're a baby. <laughs> <laughs> my my <laughs> life is... <laughs> you live in your house with your mom, with your family. Yeah, you don't have children. Oh, I don't do remember you? children. <laughs> no. <laughs> High skin. Yeah, you don't have a wife. You have no, a you have a you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. I I, I girlfriend t shirt. <laughs> okay, but it is not is not a toxic girl? No, no, t-shirt. <laughs> okay. My so... girlfriend, not toxic. And de vez en cuando. <laughs> Every girl but is not, no 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 is girl toxic. Okay, so teacher, uh, I have a question. Uh -huh, tell me. Uh, no, it, it's not question. Um my my problem is uh, uh, on these temas, como se dice temas on um, topics the, uh, okay. subjects on these subjects news for example um uh, I don't know what is uh because it's simple past they're just in a question with no bueno cuando es eh, cuando tendría que utilizarlo en pasado a la hora de crear este nuevas oraciones um, me, me cuesta básicamente asimilarlo ya digamos si yo ya te tengo por ejemplo los ejercicios de ahorita verdad si yo ya tengo una respuesta en, en digamos positivo o negativo pero tiene como el el verbo en, el verbo en pasado y, y para formular la pregunta tengo que, que puedo colocarlo en presente o no sé si es al revés no estoy seguro entonces tengo como eh, todavía no me calo no no me cala bien este cómo es que se llama cuándo se debería o 
o cómo sería la estructura para ese tipo de preguntas? I have esto, uh, bueno, no sé si lo viste cuando empezamos, pero vamos a compartirlo de nuevo. El PowerPoint here. Estabas cuando les compartí este cuadrito. Uh, este cuadro sí. Oh, no, um, ese sí, es mi trip to, my trip no. to Canada, yeah. No, este. El, al principio solo poco lo vi, no lo vi a detalle porque me fui. Aquí está okay. resumido el pasado simple, tanto del verbo to be como de los otros verbos, ¿verdad? The o sea, word, yeah. Acordate que cuando es el verbo to be, estamos hablando de was y were. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yeah. Las oraciones afirmativas o positivas, ¿verdad? La estructura es esta. Sujeto, was, were. Was, were y en el complemento. Ajá. ¿Ya? Ok. Y ahí no hay otros verbos. Ahí no hay nada más. Acuérdate que was y where es estar o ser. Mm. ¿Verdad? Yo estuve. Yo. Eh, um, fui. Sí. Pero no del verbo ir. Sino de ser. Yo fui el. Maestro, I was the teacher. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. O yo estuve en clase, I was in class. ¿Ibas uh -huh. a decir algo? No, este. ¿Cómo es que se llama? Mm. Vaya, eso lo comprendo, pero en mi problema, y siento de que aquí es a donde. Estoy fallando es el cuando quiero asimilar un, un tipo de verbo, por ejemplo. Entonces, eh, ah, no, 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 o sea, no he tenido como la, la como el privilegio ahorita de eh, estudiar los verbos eh, pasado, presente y futuro. O sea, me los puedo en presente y pero cuando me los quiero colocar en pasado o, o utilizarlos en futuro, es como, ahí tengo como pequeñas discrepancias. Ahí sé, sé que es como, tengo que, pura práctica, eh, pura, aprendiz, eh, pura práctica y pura memoria para que esto se me quede. Pero no sé si, o sea, me puede explicar de nuevo la regla cuando un verbo tiene que, o sea, de estructura de un verbo cuando sea pasado y cuando sea futuro, por ejemplo, eh, play, eh, o, o ha, si es pasado, es play it, si no mal recuerdo. Mm -hmm. Y, o sea, solo porque como termina con Y, mm -hmm. se le coloca un ED. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando es futuro, ¿cómo, ¿cuál es la pronunciación o, o cuál es la regla que se tiene que utilizar? Fíjate que es bien sencillo porque Ajá. es la única ocasión en que los verbos cambian de, de forma es en pasado. De ahí no hay sí. otra. Excepto el, el... Bueno, mejor no te menciono otro, pero sí. de ahí los verbos se, se usan igual, porque el futuro... Usas un auxiliar y no uh -huh. cambia el verbo, o sea, presente, I play, pasado, I played, play. futuro, I will play. No cambió sí. el verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ves que solo cambió en pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces, si hay algo que hay que aprenderse, son los verbos en pasado. Uh -huh. Porque ah, para el futuro solo es el will. So, solo no de la forma. Hay muchas formas de futuro, pero mm. 
una de las formas es el will. I will play. Ok. Eh, um, I eat, presente. I ate, pasado. I will eat, futuro. Mm. ¿Ves? Solo agregamos el will y el verbo eat. Sin mm -hmm. conjugar ni nada. Okay. Y la única forma en que los verbos tienen ese cambio es en, en oraciones afirmativas en pasado. Nunca uh -huh. más. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Nunca más. Eh, solo en, en pasado. De ahí, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Incluso en las formas, por eso decíamos acá, ¿va? los verbos sujeto más el verbo en pasado. Uh -huh. En este caso ponen aquí el ed porque estamos hablando de verbos regulares. Uh -huh. Y los verbos irregulares es totalmente caprichoso, no hay ninguna regla, ¿verdad? De que este verbo, como es irregular, va a cambiar de esta manera. No hay ninguna regla, ¿verdad? Okay. Eso solo hay que aprendérselos así de memoria. Eh, y con la práctica. Pues, es pura así. práctica. Uh -huh. Entonces, ves acá. She worked yesterday. Aquí se cambia el verbo, ¿verdad? De la forma básica al verbo en pasado. Pero ya cuando venimos al, al negativo, ¿ves? El verbo va en forma básica. She didn't work. Ya solo usaste un auxiliar aquí. El didn't. Okay. Cuando es pregunta, el did al principio. Y el verbo normal. ¿No? Entonces no hay mucho donde perderse solo en los afirmativos. Cuando estoy afirmando algo en pasado, es que uso el, el verbo conjugado. Ok. Perfecto. Entonces, has... ahí puse en WhatsApp esta, este cuadrito, ¿verdad? Sí, se está viendo ahorita. Y acordate que, bueno, esta es la estructura de una pregunta de sí o no. ¿Verdad? Mm. Did she work yesterday? Ahora, si yo esta pregunta de sí o no, simplemente le agrego la palabra aquí al principio yo le agregara la palabra why por qué ya la convertí en una pregunta de información ¿no? ¿No? Well, why did she work yesterday ¿Ves? entonces las preguntas de información solo hay que agregarle al principio de la pregunta el por qué cómo cuándo quién Yeah. Okay. Teacher, what is the past verb the found? The what? Found. 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 Found de de llamar, de llamar por teléfono. No, es de encontrar. I found. Ah, ese es pasado. Ahí me lo están diciendo en pasado. Ah, no, perdón. Entonces es, what is the verb present the, the font? The present verb, the font. Found. Find. Find. Sí. Find, Find. found. Fine. Bye, pero ese no, ese es un verbo irregular. Sí. Ah, entonces yo pensé que se le, colo, se le colocaba el ed. No. Este es un verbo irregular. Ok. I did not find. Uh -huh. La pregunta es, ¿cuáles son regulares y cuáles son irregulares? Ajá. Eso igual, ¿verdad? 
no hay regla. O sea, este verbo, porque es de esta forma, es regular. No. No. No existe. Porque, por ejemplo, imagínate, ¿verdad? El verbo... Si usáramos los verbos, el verbo... Talk. El pasado de talk es talked. Es un verbo regular. Es un verbo regular. Pero ya usamos el verbo take, que es bien parecido, ¿no? Me diría, Ajá. pues, take it. No. <risa> Esto es took. Mm. Ahí sí ya me perdí. Por eso te Ajá. digo, no hay regla. O sea, no, no hay regla. regla. Ajá. Simplemente tenés que conocerlos, ¿verdad? A través de la lectura, a través de... Uh, si si tener conseguir una lista, pero es bien difícil sentarme a memorizársela si, si no es en la ¿Difícil? Práctica. Ajá, puede ser difícil, pero no es imposible, ¿verdad? No, se logra, o sea, pero sí tenés que... Tal vez no como una cuestión de meterte a decir, vamos a meterte en verbos, ¿no? Agarrar una tarjetita con cinco verbos y andar en la bolsa viendo, viendo, viendo. La verdad. O poner un papel pegado donde vos vas, vos vas a estar, ¿verdad? Verlos ahí constantemente y que se te vayan metiendo. Sobre todo, tal vez, eh, los irregulares, porque si ya no está como irregular, si vos no lo identificas como irregular, entonces es regular. Ok. Dije, estoy, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Haciendo la, la actividad eh, de la tarea número 12. Y solo tengo una, un problema con una oración que es, I found eh, $10 on the street. Y lo quieren pasar a negativo y sería, I didn't find $10 on the street. No sé si está bien así. I didn't find ten dollars on the street. Sí. Uh, no sé por qué me lo tomo como malo. Ponerle punto. Ajá, al final le coloqué el punto. On the street. Revisar los espacios. Uh -huh. Espacio en, en ese símbolo del billete, creo que. El símbolo de dólar. Tener cuidado, ¿no? No recuerdo si lleva o no lleva espacio. Si estuve viendo eso. Uf, quiero ver. Si es así. No. Ah, pero bah, voy a revisar eso entonces. Es la tarea. 12. 12. 12. Sí, que queda bien. I didn't find ten dollars on the street. Dollars on the street. Punto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y revisar la escritura que todo que todo vaya eh, bien. el problema muchas veces que se les da es que no usan el, el apóstrofe sino que usan la tilde sí eso es cierto o sea pero es que creo que es por la bueno por ejemplo es por mi, mi máquina mi máquina está regularmente en español entonces uh -huh. a la hora de buscar apóstrofe en, como no lo utilizo, no sé cuál, cuál, cómo colocar, la verdad. Bueno, a mí me aparece en el signo de interrogación de cierre. No sé qué tenés ahí en ese, con ese signo de interrogación de cierre. Eh, bueno, yo lo tengo en el de comillas dobles. Es que ese que, bueno, ah, bueno, comillas dobles. Ajá. Bueno, ahí sí, tengo. O sea, que lo encontré entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Porque ese es el problema que a veces les pasa Que no me la da, ya le puse todo bien Y lo que pasa es que han puesto una tilde En lugar del Del apóstrofe Ok Bueno pues Javier Ya nos dieron las diez y media Ok, está bien Bueno pues, pase buena cosa Y siempre estamos en Whatsapp disponibles Ok, okay perfecto teacher. See you Okay, see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.